Oh my god, we're up to episode 24 out of 26. We've got three more to do. I am that excited that I just want to get straight into it. I don't want to hesitate anymore. I want to get season one over and done with. It's been so long and I'm sorry. Thank you so much for being patient with me. And let's just jump straight into it. <laughs> And I think it's absolutely amazing because it is like horse whisperers, horse people to do something like that. Like if I had my horse in the arena and I tried to do that, she'd probably just stare at me thinking, what the hell are you doing? I'm, we're not free lunging today. What are you doing? <laughs> so I look at that and I think it's absolutely amazing how people can have that confidence and that trust in the horse to do free lunging like that. Because I certainly couldn't do that. I could never... I don't know how to become a horse whisperer and how to tell a horse to walk like if I said then tell my horse to walk, trot, get her, come she would just stand there but she was also a lazy horse and such a princess as many people who knew her would have told you but um yeah like I don't think I could be a horse whisperer and do something like that like how do you become that level to train a horse to listen to your voice and do that sort of thing it's amazing it, and it makes me smile every time i see it happening because it's just something i know i could never do you speak horse that was amazing no there's nothing amazing about this Come on. anyone who loves animals can do this all it takes you're gonna be on tv yeah i'm gonna make a total fool of myself no you won't today was a fluke I don't know what I was doing out there. I don't speak horse. Well, if you need some help, good idea. I'll ask the saddle club. <laughs> Not what I was going to say, but anyway, we can move with that. <sighs> Come on, you guys know more about horses than any of the other riders here. I'd assume the more senior riders would know more about horses than anyone else there. As opposed to people who have been riding for, I'm going to say, no more than 12 years. See? Remember what we told you. Show them there's nothing to be afraid of. Assuming horses live in pastures and there are some grassless paths in pastures. That there have been puddles that Ken Major has gone over in the past. This would not have been his first mud puddle to have gone over. Um, so I don't know, it just makes me think that a horse of his age um, and been at Pine Hill for as long as he has has never been in a puddle before. Horses aren't that scared, like they're scared of deep water as Secrets was. Um, but not little puddles like that. I don't believe it! That's it, Christy! I'm a horse whisperer. Never thought I'd see you date a farmer. Max is an equestrian. Well, overalls, rubber boots, hay, what's the difference? Look, seriously, I'm glad you're so happy. Just don't think I could ever do it. Settle down like this. Guess travel's too important to me. Jerry? Hi, I'm Veronica D'Angelo. I just love your show. I watch it all the time. Well, that's good to hear. What you need is a really good host. Well, I think we've got enough volunteers. Lisa's offered to write the script and Stevie's working with Comanches. And Carol- Shouldn't Christy be working with Comanches, seeming Christy's the horse whisperer needs to 
get a better bond with Comanche. Like, I get Steve will be, like, grooming and getting him set up. But shouldn't that be Christy's responsibility, just spending as much time as possible with the horse? I was helping Christy. Yeah, I know. But you haven't picked a host yet, right? No, uh... Good. I don't think I've had a host for any of my shows, as a matter of fact, assuming you'll be the first one. Because it's so important to get the right person. Someone who's smart, attractive, talented, and of course, someone who's got experience in front of the camera. Ideally, I had a part in the Sky Ransom movie that was filmed here. Ironically, it got cut, you know, there was just so many scenes, I just had to cut one out. Okay, what does it mean when a horse is hightailing? It's excited and probably means it's a school dressage horse. That's a weird expression, seeming hightailing was used to describe racehorses. I won't describe a school dressage horse as a hightailed horse. Good. What does it mean when a horse's ears are laid back? That's easy. Leave me alone. I don't want to be here. I'm tired or I'm bored. More like I'm in a bad mood. Get away from me before I hurt you. This show is going to be so great. I know. Who would have thought Christy was actually human? I think it's because she's spending more time around horses. And Veronica less. I know. I haven't seen them together since Christy got this TV thing. I can't, I can't wait to show Christy some of these ideas for the script. Do you know they used to blow in a horse's ear? And that's where the term horse whisperer came from? No. It, it didn't. Do they seriously not think that people would not research into this after years after the show? <laughs> yeah, with all the horse people on set, because people have to donate their horses for these shows, did anyone not stop to ask one of these horse people terminologies, horse's behaviour, to kind of save the embarrassment of being wrong on a horse show. I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, why isn't it called Horse Blower? Hey Stevie, you got a carry comb I can use? Did she just come out of an empty stall? There's no horse in there. Are you trying to brush air? Christy, I wrote down some ideas for the script. Want to have a look? I'm supposed to be training Comanche. I can't do I thought Stevie was working with Comanche. Everything. It'll only take a minute. Can't you do better than this? <laughs> you okay? You know? You threw me off on purpose. Is Melody trying to tell the audience she hopped on a horse without a helmet? She should be lucky she didn't break her skull or even have a concussion right now. That. Oh my god, like when at my riding schools I wasn't allowed to not wear, a, I wasn't allowed to be around horses without wearing a helmet until I was at least 15. I'm surprised she hopped on a horse, fell off, and wasn't wearing a helmet. Like, are you serious? It's, it's okay, relax, I'm here. I think he was trying to talk to me. Yeah, he's trying to tell you that you don't know what you're doing. Christy? It wasn't Melanie's fault. Like she should have put on a helmet first, so that is her fault if she had broken her skull or had any uh, concussion or bruises to her brain. Oh, I'm glad I found you alone. I just wanted to tell you how sorry I am that a friend of mine, well, I thought she was a friend, is being so uppity. That's okay, Veronica. It's not your fault. Well, perhaps it is. I mean, I tried to teach her some of my style, but she can't handle it. And now she's become a prima donna. Pathetic, isn't mm -hmm. it? No one's blaming you, Veronica. You're really being very nice about it. In fact, you are very nice, if very ordinary girls. I don't know why we don't get along better. Because you tried to kill Stevie, but, you know, that's irrelevant. There have been faults on both sides. Yeah, you know, you tried to kill Stevie. I tried to save her, you hated me for saving her, you know, faults, both sides, things couldn't be resolved. We have a lot in common. A love of horses, a talent for riding. <laughs> You've got absolutely no cloned sense, but that can be learned. We should talk about this again. <laughs> Bothering Dan? <laughs> Me. He's the one who's biting. You're in over your head. 
Don't worry, I'll fix him for you. Penta Sanchi has her hands full. But horses, the second they see freedom, like an open door, an open pasture, an open gate, they're going to make a run for it. So the best thing for be would to put your saddle down, close the door. Like, they're surprised I haven't lost any horses, if I'm honest. I want to feature Dime instead of Comanche in here. I want to show my viewers how to tack up a trouble pony. Your viewers? It's kind of complicated, but in layman's terms, Dime's been mishandled, so he's got some serious issues. You mean bucking? And biting. Melanie can't even get close to him with a saddle. It'll be way more challenging than working with Comanche. Look, as long as somebody whispers something to a horse, I don't care who you use. So what do you think is wrong with Dime? Well, he's scared of his saddle. But don't worry, I'll cure him. Actually, Christy, I'll handle this. Well, at this point, Carol can then explain to Melanie, sorry about her, what's really happening is this, and then we could all just, just jump to conclusions and the episode can be finished. <laughs> Wearing that? What do you care? No one's tuning in to see me, remember? Christy, I've got an appointment in town, so I won't be able to see your show, but I just wanted to wish you luck. Thanks, but I don't need it. I've totally got the Equus thing down. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Equus, the language of horses. Yes, yes, I know what Equus is, Christy. <laughs> Just remember, no matter what language you're speaking in, communication should always be two-way. Yeah, I know. <laughs> She's given up. I tried. You know you're in for a rough day when the talent starts eating the talent, huh, Debbie? It's Debra, not Debbie. Veronica, a word, please. Yes, a word with the host instead of the person who can't communicate with the horse. Did you see Veronica? She's ruining everything. She didn't bite your butt. Dime did. If she just knew how to handle him. Are you sure Dime's scared? Look like Dime was wearing like a saddle blanket or something at that point. Was he? Did you see Veronica? She's not wearing anything. Everything. She didn't make like it behind them. Dime did. If, if she, she just, just knew how to handle him. He's got something on, like a rug or something. And that's not Lisa's hand. Are you sure Dime's scared of his saddle? Of course I'm sure. Actually, Christy, Lisa just... Well, I do. And I think I know better than any of you. Don't you? Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we, we think so. It looks like Dime's more relaxed around his blanket now. <laughs> Looks kind of bored, if you ask me. She's dying out there. You know what? Who cares? The way she's been treating everyone lately, she deserves it. But Max doesn't. People aren't only going to be making fun of Christy, but they're going to be making fun of Pine Hollow, too. Let's go. What do we do now? I'm not sure. Well, you're the horse whisperer. What's wrong with the horse? Maybe we can help. <laughs> Sit down, Jerry. What are you doing? Bailing you out? Unless you'd like us to leave. <laughs> I love Ke Veronica's reaction to Carol. Watch. <laughs> this is funny. What are you doing? Bailing you out? Unless you'd like us to leave. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> if a horse's muscle flinches when you touch it. Your hair looked really good, and I love the outfit you chose. Thanks. You know, if it was just you and me doing the show by ourselves, it would have been way better. Yeah. Maybe we should talk to Jerry about doing our own show. We'll do that. Well, you can't do it right now because you caught a fly and he's not really at the stables yet. Another episode done and dusted. If you did like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also please do subscribe for more. 
And also please do sign the petition that I will have linked in the description box. My goal is to get the unreleased music from season two and season three released and I can't do it on my own. So if you could please share your support and love and show a voice that there are people who still watch the Saddle Club, still love the Saddle Club and still want music, we might get a goal somewhere. <laughs> um, but thank you girl, thank you all for all your support and I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye guys.